I am Ashish here. Uh, I am the trainer. And before I start the session, there are various various questions being asked by people. Um, well, the most uh, common. I'll discuss some of the way common questions which were being asked to me before the class, and uh, then I'll take up some questions from your side, and then I'll tell you what all we are offering to you, and we can start off with the course. Fine. Yes. Uh, firstly, the first five classes I'll try. Okay, not the first two. Some people were having this question that are the two classes or trial or the five in weekday batch. First five classes are trial classes. Fine. We'll be having the class on uh, weekdays, not on the weekends. And um, another question being asked to me was, what all will I be covering in the class? Okay. I'll give you an overview what I will be covering. I will be covering Java. I'll be covering web driver. I'll be covering frameworks like test ng or JUnit. Fine. Then we will look at frameworks like keyword driven or the hybrid framework incident. Right. Many people they want additional information as well, like how do I work on other stuff like flash testing with Selenium, database testing with Selenium, or I have to work on grid as well. Right. These are the components of Selenium. If you don't know about these things, just ignore that for some time. As you proceed with the course, you'll come to know. But these are the questions which we, we I, I was being asked that what about Selenium RC, right? Kina is asking on Skype. Right. Now, one more thing, guys. If you have to ask me a question, I'll tell you about WebEx first. How to ask me a question? You can scroll your mouse to the top of the window of your uh, computer. You will see a small menu coming up. In that menu, there will be an option of participants and chat. Either you can click on chat and ask me a question through chat. When you are putting a question, just put it to everyone from the drop down. And, or you can go to the participants tab on the top, scroll down to your name, click on the red icon, unmute yourself, ask a question, and mute yourself. Or you can also add me on Skype and I ask a question on Skype. My Skype ID is QTP Right. Now, Selenium is a very vast tool. It's not feasible for me to cover all these things in the training because if I start covering them, it will not, if, if I take a one hour class every day, it will not end up for two and a half to three months. So what I do is I cover these things in the training because WebDriver is the latest version. Selenium RC is now deprecated. It's old. Right. No, and, and not everybody wants these topics like these great database testing, flash testing, and all. So what I have done is, if you go to my site, qtpselenium.com, <coughs> I have divided the whole course actually on this site in 42 modules. Right? The whole course is divided in 42 modules and along with the training you get the access to the videos on all these 42 modules. You'll get a lifetime access, that means a permanent access which will never expire, right? And you can watch the videos and you can also learn from them. Now the videos, they contain all the information, they are over 110 hours, right? And uh, you will have an access forever to the videos, that access will never got it, get expired, it's not a six month, eight month, one year or two year access, right? So if you click on any of the links like Grid2, then you have the trainings of Grid2 as well. So you can learn from them. You have got Selenium RC and all everything over here, okay? So now this was the answer to the primary question. No, there is no specific duration, Pratha. You can, like I'm running this site since two years. People who got the access two years back are still having the access. Right. So this is the primary thing. Okay. Uh, secondly, another question is that uh, rather an information for you. Today in the training, over 25 people joined in the training and my WebEx account is not suitable enough to accommodate more than 25 people. Some people um, had a little difficulty in joining. So what I'm doing is I'm asking WebEx to increase the limit as well. Probably tomorrow as well you might face the difficulty. First 25 can get in. Right? Over 40 people they registered. So I was not knowing about this that so many guys will come in this batch. So I'll increase the limit. Okay. Uh, 
Thirdly is something like I in every batch I ask people do you, if you have any questions, questions regarding batch or questions regarding Selenium as a tool or about this course, please feel free to put up your questions. I'll answer them before starting off with the course. Any questions from anybody related to course, not related to course? Anything, if you have any doubts, just feel free to ask me. You can contact me on WebEx or you can reach me on Skype. Yeah, this is Dr. Shubodip. I just have a quick question for you. Uh, thing is, uh, are we going to kind of cover the theoretical aspects of Selenium, or are we going to have a, a live project-like scenarios? I mean, to deal with in this course as well. Look, if I take the project-like scenarios in the beginning, half of the people will not understand because you know what? This is the I I know everybody out here is an experienced person. Everybody knows how the work it is carried out in the industry, fine. Uh, but the thing is, if, if you have to learn Selenium, it's not about theoretical, it's not about practical, the first thing which you need is Java. And yep. this is where most of the people they like lack. So I'll be starting with Java language first. I'll be telling you the concepts of Java, then I will be telling you how those concepts are implemented in web drivers. Okay, and after learning this, we will be learning features of WebDriver, how to work with WebDriver, what is it as a tool, before moving on to the real-time project, okay, learn Selenium WebDriver as a tool, learn the features of the tool, okay, like for example, many of you have worked on Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, but not everybody knows the complete features of those tools like Word and Excel. So first of all, I will be te teaching you features based on practical scenario only, right? And then after that, in the end, I will take up the frameworks. Now frameworks is like, it's, it's like a real-time project which I will be taking in the end. So the first thing which we need to know and learn is practical as well as theoretical aspects of Java language. That's what I will be starting with. Okay, I, I don't jump over to the project directly. This guy is not able to join. Oh, just a minute, give me one minute. Hmm. Hi, Ashish. This is Vikram here. Yes, yes Vikram. Uh, I just have a question like, uh, do you give any assignments to have a like a hands-on for us so that, I mean, after the completion of the training for every hour or something? Yeah, I, I give the assignments during the training as well, sometimes, sometimes at the end of the training as well. Okay, when we are studying about the features of uh, WebDriver, we'll be taking a lot of examples. Look, whatever examples and whatever I show in the training, I don't show it on a PPT or something. I show it on the website. There are lots of websites on internet. There are a lot of scenarios which can be discussed. So, right. So I I I, I talk about those scenarios. Uh, that's how I talk, teach it. Right. And how about the Java? Like you will be touching the programming stuffs, and uh, I mean through a program you will be explaining it, or how it is? I mean only the concepts will be given. Yeah, we will be working on Eclipse. Using, uh, huh. Yeah, in the five parallel classes, you'll get a good view of it. How it you will come to know. Okay, that's why I keep first five classes trial. This is for people to judge how we are going in the course. Firstly, secondly, uh, to this also helps a person to know whether he is like he is in for it or not. So that, that's the okay. thing. So. Hello, Ashish. This yeah, is Sushma. Uh, is this course work for the beginners who have not any experience in the work and uh, no, no, in, no, no experience in Java and everything? Look, this course can help them. Definitely the online thing can help them. But what I have observed from my experience, the beginners who have got no experience in Java or any other program, it's not just about Java, if you know any other programming language, uh, then they stuck at frameworks because frameworks are little bit tough. They are complex. 
right the beginners they are able to understand the features of web driver they are able to understand java till this point everything everybody is okay but framework they get stuck look what i always tell people is that if you are not enough confident about yourself that okay uh, i this tool is not for uh, like i'm not sure i'm not sure about this tool right i'm i'm not very good at programming if you are having that kind of doubt in your mind then what i recommend people is that instead of coming for the online training directly okay go go for the videos on my site it only thing is you have to give in certain extra amount of time that's it so go for the videos watch the videos right and learn from the videos and once you are little bit confident about yourself you have watched the java training videos you have watched the selenium training videos and after that you tell me fine ashish i want to join the class you just pay the difference amount what is whatever is the training cost and whatever is the video cost you pay the remaining money training cost less the video cost and join the training so that way you come to the training with a certain background in your mind and then it helps a lot so that's why what i recommend people who are not so confident even after the trial classes that go for the videos learn from them and if you feel the need to join the course you can join in by paying the paying the remaining amount okay thank you yeah is there a textbook look there are lots of textbooks on selenium but the thing is um, what i have observed is learning selenium is the Different thing, but uh, implementing Selenium the way it is implemented in the real world and the industry is very different. And no book talks about that. Okay, no book will talk about how to automate thousand test cases, which will run for two hours on a server, right? So that's the problem. Every book will talk about fine if you have to click on a link, how you click on a link. Basic things everybody talks about. but in real time when we have got test scenarios when you have multiple test suites which have to be executed on all the browsers you have to on different browsers you have to carry on the testing right so those kinds of things which are actually encountered in the practical world i have not seen any book covering that okay so i never learned it from a book i learned selenium from google so that's the thing right any other question uh, ashish uh, vikram yeah. yeah vikram here uh, actually uh, the thing is i mean uh, i'm uh, i'm not a uh, from automation background so how well the frameworks because i have a minimal knowledge the theoretical knowledge on the frameworks and uh, doesn't have a hands on with uh, any programming uh, stuff so how well i can correlate the things or how well i can understand uh, your thing apart from i mean as you said like watching the video will be really helpful but how the sessions will also be like uh, how can i i mean equip myself to have a better understanding and uh, this thing the program so that's what i'm telling you if after the trial class if you are not so confident hmm. that you will be able to grasp it in the long run right so uh the thing is you can that's what i as i told to everybody you can go for the videos the videos also contain lot of practical information you can watch them you can learn from them you can get a very good knowledge and then join the training by paying the difference amount so that helps a lot okay so actually there is one more info no there is one more info in the website saying you will be given access to all videos for some time i mean two days or one day for some hours and you can browse through it and then you can join yeah it's for one hour it's for one hour okay i'm hosting the videos on the red server they allow a trial access for one hour so you can just browse through the videos or i have kept the sample videos on the site you can just just to the samples one sample on this one and the paid videos you can provide your trial access for one hour Oh, okay. So, how to subscribe for it uh, for trial videos? Um, just let me know. On, like, just register from the website. Just send your information to the website. Okay. And that's it. Yeah, that's fine. <coughs> Hello, Ashish. Again, Pushma. Um, are you going yeah. to provide the material? 
what like I provide videos, I provide the code along with the videos and what other material do you want? I provide uh, interview course. For the interview point of view we have to go through yeah. the, some uh, material like uh, readings, like uh, any um, uh, like uh, I put a topics to answer any yeah. questions in the interview. Uh, the thing is, uh, yes, um, look so many people they registered with me with Cosplays, right? So what I did was I made a forum, right? And I asked everybody to join that forum and put the interview questions which they have in their knowledge and with uh, put the interview questions which they face in the for in the interviews. So a lot of my existing students, they have posted so many questions in the forum. I'll give you the access to the forum. That will be very helpful rather than taking the interview questions in an Excel file or something. I have got many practical questions in that forum. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? Okay. Regarding interviews, I can tell you if you are a beginner and if you are not very confident about Selenium, right? Then give yourself at least two months. Two months of time to actually reach to a level. Two months of regular practice. Okay. Two months of regular practice to actually reach to a level where you are confident enough to work with Selenium. Right. So now, fine. Let's start with Selenium. What I do is. Um, the first thing is that Java should be installed on your machine. Everybody is able to join the WebEx conference. Java must be installed. And one more thing, if you are having a 64-bit machine, because these days almost all the PCs which are coming are 64-bit, make sure you also have JDK, Java Development Kit installed on your machine. Just go to Google and type download JDK and go to J Java SC downloads and just download Java development kit over here. Right? Is there any certification exam? No, there is no certification exam for Selenium. I mean the authentic certification exam is not there. That is, for example, HP offers certification for QTP because HP has made QTP. ThoughtWorks has made Selenium, it offers no certification. There is certification for Java. Okay. So this is the download link for JDK. Fine. You can click on this the download link and you can download the software and install it on your PC. Fine. How to find out whether it is 64 or 32 bit? Uh, just go to my computer properties. You have the information over there. Okay. Even if you don't have 64 bit machine and you install it, then it, it also doesn't make a big difference. Okay. Why am I telling you to install it is because we write the Java code in a soft, in a tool called as Eclipse. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, Mac has got Java installed by default. Okay. Mac has got this installed by default. You don't have to worry. In uh, now you just have to go to Google and type over here Eclipse Indigo. Download download Eclipse Indigo. Fine. There's a Mac version. There's a Windows version, 32 bit, 64 bit. Everything is available. Fine. So it's for Mac, Windows, Linux. Even software is available for every uh, each and every operating system. Right? Now, if you, uh, once you download Eclipse and you extract the zip file, you get a software like this. Or, sorry, you get a folder like this. Fine? 